Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes and also the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. And today I'll be comparing two products which go head to head, uh, Excel 2019 and Google Sheets. And let's take a look at the different programs right now. Here is Google Sheets, uh, kind of the basic appearance when you come to the, when you load up a document. And here is Excel 2019 showing the same document uh, loaded up. And on the face of it, it looks it looks pretty similar, you know. You have you have cells, you have uh, columns arranged up here on the top, rows on the side. You can identify cells, and then you have your features, which in Excel 2019 are arranged in the ribbon interface up top. There's a lot of features, so you have to switch between ribbons if you want to do different things. So, for instance, to ins to create a chart, I'd go to the Insert ribbon and then choose one of the chart options here. Uh, Google Sheets. It only has one toolbar, which runs across the top. So this never changes. This is always here. You can hide it if you want to, or you can, sorry, you can uh, make it full screen. Um, but other features are kind of buried in there. You have to go to the menus that are up here to do some, to do certain types of, uh, access certain types of features. The basic features of these two programs are the same. And in fact, for a lot of basic types of work, Google Sheets is fine. Um, basically, you just you need a, you need an on first of all you need an online connection so you need Wi-Fi or some sort of work network to, to use Google Sheets. Um, Google Sheets say that there's something called offline compatibility mode where you can work on Google Sheets offline in a Chrome browser. I found that it is not that good. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't work the way that I want to the offline compatibility mode. And what this means is basically in order to work on a Google Sheets document, you need to be connected to the internet. Um, and that's that's a pretty big limit limitation for people who are traveling, for instance, they're in an airport where the Wi Fi has a has some, some sort of a gate to it, you can't use it for free or you're on an airplane, it's just not available. Excel 2019, on the other hand, it's basically you can use it no problem even if you have no internet connection. Um, the, if, you do, if you want to use certain features of Excel 2019, for instance, these uh, intelligent services that Microsoft now includes with the program, like Ideas, there's a couple other ones as well, that requires an internet connection or to save stuff on OneDrive, which is Microsoft's online uh, kind of cloud services platform, you need to have an online connection. But you can also just save it on your hard drive, which is quite convenient, I've found. Uh, by the way, before I continue, this is the Mac OS version of Excel 2019. 98% of it is the same as Windows, in, including these, the home ribbons and most of the ribbons, they look exactly the same no matter what program you're using, no matter what version you're using, the Windows version, the Mac OS version. I just thought I would mention that in case people are wondering, well, you know, uh, is it the same on Windows? And yes, it is. So uh, here we are with Excel 2019. And as I just mentioned, there are so many features for Excel 2019 that they need to have multiple ribbons to cover to cover it all. And quite honestly, a lot of the features that are available in 2000 and Excel 2019 are just not available in Google Sheets. Here's one example, the draw feature. This is new to Excel 2019. It was not available in Excel 2016 or Excel 2013. It lets you draw on the screen. So I can select a pen like a different colored pen or a highlighter, and I can start to, to, to draw on this. This is useful, I think, if you're using like a Surface notebook or a uh, tablet, perhaps you can quickly annotate a spreadsheet. This is just not available in Google Sheets. There's no ability to draw anything. You just have to use your keyboard or, um, you know, uh, either a, a virtual keyboard if you're using a tablet, or you have to use a real keyboard if you're using the desktop version like I am right now. So that's a big difference. Some features are just not available in Google Sheets. The other thing I found is that the way features are implemented is quite different. And there's more, kind of more available. And let me show you what I mean. So I have this, I have this, uh, this data here. This is the price of a certain mutual fund over a long period of time. I want to make a chart out of it so it's easier to read. Because this is, this is, you know, there's hundreds of, there's hundreds of uh, rows here. I just want to quickly view a visualization so it's easy to understand. So I've highlighted the data. I go to the Insert tab in Excel 2019, and then I select one of these options. I, I'm going to just select the line chart. And you can see there are all these different options to do this. I'm just going to use the kind of the points option. So check that out. 
it quickly whipped up a chart for me. It lets me quickly change the appearance of the chart, although you can't really read that. That might be too much data. Yeah, that's not readable. But I can also do things like I can quickly add a table below the, the line. Or I can just go back to this to the uh, single version like that without any sort of other data there. Excel 2019 makes that easy. The other thing that you can do is you can create some pretty sophisticated looking charts. Let's get rid of this one. So I'm going to go back to insert and I'm going to create like a 3D version of it. So look at this, a 3D line version. It basic, you can't see it that well unless I make it really big. But basically it turned the line into like this ribbon and makes it look like it's kind of coming out of the screen. So it's a cool 3D, 3D view of it. And then I could, I could copy this picture, put it in a PowerPoint or something like that, put it on my website. So that's pretty flexible. And, and indeed it's quite powerful to be able to quickly change things just by pressing a couple buttons at the top. Like I can make it dark all of a sudden. Yeah. Google Sheets, on the other hand, yes, you can quickly create a chart. Highlight the data. There's a chart icon here, this little thing, insert chart, click that, and it automatically creates a chart. And then you can start to mess around with it a little bit. It gives you some different options, like I can do an area chart, and they're pretty good. But I found that the appearance is just not as sophisticated. Y you know. Like, for instance, if I wanted to, I could create a 3D pie chart from the data, but it doesn't let me create a 3D line chart. The line chart options are pretty simple. There's like three, or actually more if you include these. But if you go to Excel 2019, there's all kinds of stuff you can quickly do with this, just with a touch of a button, either in terms of creating a different format or maybe changing the way it looks just by making it black or white or whatever. And Google Sheets doesn't let you do that so easily. Like if I wanted to change this to red, uh, the background here, I'd have to start clicking on buttons to change it. It would take a while to, to do all that customization. It's available, but it's not quite as intuitive. It takes extra time. And then some basic styles like the 3D version I just showed you in Excel 2019 is just not available in Google Sheets. So that's kind of a, a black mark against uh, Google, Google Sheets. But I have to say, uh, Google Sheets is really easy to use. You know, I, when I need like a, a quick go-to spreadsheet just to enter some data or create a quick chart, I almost always use Google Sheets because it's just, it's a lot easier to just quickly set something up. And then the other advantage to it is it's much easier to collaborate, I've found. Um, basically, all you do is you click this button, share, and then you, st then you start typing in the names of the people that you're working with and it'll just draw it right from your address book. Um, you can do some advanced options too, like making it public, et cetera, et cetera. You can disable it, and it, it's, it's quite easy to use, and I like that a lot. Um, with Excel Online, yes, you can share it. One thing that it will do, however, if it's stored on your hard drive, is it will prompt you, first of all, to move it to OneDrive. So then you have to give you the option to move it or make, make a copy. If you move it, you upload it to OneDrive. If you copy it, it will just make, create a new copy on OneDrive. And this is an extra step that you have to take as a user if you want to collaborate. The other problem I found with it is sometimes people, they have trouble accessing OneDrive if they're, using, if they're new to Microsoft. If they've never used OneDrive before, they get this link. Maybe they're prompted to create a Microsoft account or download the, the OneDrive app onto their, onto their phone or onto their uh, computer, and they're just... It, it, it's, they're not familiar with it, or it doesn't work the way that they expect it to. So I think Google Sheets has an advantage there in that the collaboration options are much easier to use. And that, But there's another issue for Google Sheets, which makes it really a, a very good option to use, and that is it's free to use. The basic version of Google Sheets, which you can use all the features, you can store as many uh, Google Sheets documents as you want, and I think up to like either five, megabyte, five gigabytes or 25 gigabytes of other types of files, like an Excel file, um, you, can use, you, can, um, you can use that for free. You just have to have a Google account. And so you have Gmail, you can already do it. Or just register. It takes like you know, two or three minutes to register a Google account and start using Sheets for free. Excel 2019, on the other hand, for Mac or Windows or for any other format that you're using, you have to pay for it. 
you can either purchase Office 2019, which includes Excel 2019, Word 2019, PowerPoint 2019, um, or you can use an Office 365 subscription. And here are the costs for Office 365. Um, annually, you're looking at at least $84. And if you use that for a couple years, like you use that for three years, the personal version, that's $252. And if you're using the uh, home version, it's even more, $360. You can get more users and more uh, devices you can use on it. But that really starts to add up after a long time. And maybe you don't have a lot of money. Maybe you're a student. Um, so this is Office 365 subscription may not work for you. Uh, but Google Sheets, it's free, which is great. Um, this is Google Sheets, sorry. So there are some definite advantages to each one of them. And I have to say uh, that when it comes to just quick and easy collaboration or creating a quick uh, spreadsheet with a simple chart. I use Google Sheets almost all the time for that, just for easy stuff like this. For more complicated things that need special formatting or a big data set, Excel 2019 wins hands down. And I've had problems with really big spreadsheets. I've tried to open them up in Google Sheets. It doesn't let me do it. It just says, sorry, you've reached the maximum number of uh, cells. It's like 250, 256,000 cells or something. And after that, it just Google Sheets can't handle it. And I've also found that for big spreadsheets, even if it can, if it's below that limit, it's really slow in updating. So that's a really big drawback if you're working with big data. It just, Google Sheets may not be an, an option for you. Excel 2019, on the other hand, it's much more robust. It can do some pretty serious number crunching. And for big spreadsheets, I almost always use Excel 2019 because Google Sheets just can't really handle that. Also, as I mentioned before, for sophisticated features, sophisticated charts, um, doing some types of things that you can't do. That's an example, like uh, for, for instance, uh, subtotals, Google Sheets doesn't support that. Um, putting in sophisticated, you know, all these things with cells where you're merging cells and merging some cells but not merging others and formatting the tops and stuff like that. Excel 2019 is far superior. So I hope I've given a balanced view of the pros and cons of Excel 2019 and Google Sheets. For more information on either type of program, I've written books on both of them. Uh, Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes also covers Google Sheets. Um, and Excel Basics in 30 minutes covers Excel 2019 as well as Excel Online and the Excel mobile apps. Go to in30minutes.com if you want to learn more or also check out some of the videos that I've posted about these two software programs. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.